Hello everybody, welcome back to 7 Days Today. We're in the Darkness Falls mod, we're on day 79, and we're in the Get Right series. Today, we are going to go to treasure hunting. I keep trying to do like one or two treasures here and there, but I keep finding more maps. And I really want all of the treasure maps off of my compass and out of my bar of stuff and things to do. But before we go do that, we are going to take care of our chickens, because I haven't done that in a couple of days. So, let's get these chickens fed and go ahead and get our beehive stuff taken care of which is pretty freaking sweet i love these things i want them in the base game even if they only produce like one each time they do this it would still be worth it to do them just because you have a constant supply of them coming in the only thing that's missing is you don't hear the chickens which i kind of understand why you can't hear the chickens it would probably get annoying if you could hear the chickens but uh, it just seems like there should be chicken sounds, you know? Okie dokie. Um, I've got a lot of bad guys outside and there's a storm going on, so I do apologize if I have a couple of issues with framage. Yes, I, I think I just said something about that, too. Uh, I, I would definitely want to make some more of those coffee cakes and stuff like that, uh, but that's going to have to be for later. And I was in the process of making some more military fiber because I actually ran out. That's 34. It was... Ah, uh, mods. Uh, yeah. Now I'm low on generic skill notes yet again. Great. I'm eventually going to get all of these things made. It's just going to take me a little while to get them. But after that, I shouldn't have as many problems with getting exploded. Just, you know, if the succubus or the incubus one just, like, slack me over the back of the head, I'll probably still die, you know, just from regular damage. But uh, as far as them being able to, you know, reach out and explode me, so to speak, uh, they should have a little bit more trouble with that. Hopefully. I hope. I think. You know, the resources go by so fast, and I actually need to get another batch of steel going for after this one because I'm going to have to get everything up to stainless steel at the horde base so I can start upgrading everything. It just doesn't stop. I have to go to titanium next, uh, so that's a thing. What am I doing? I didn't grab any iron. I just grabbed the clay. That does not work. Oh, and I fixed Lydia because she was actually kind of hurting for uh, something. And I did, in fact, test it. But if you... Her little radio menu here, if you fix her this way... Oh, no, where is it? Oh, it doesn't show up because she's fully healed. But this little menu right here, if you repair her on this, it does not affect her uh, level at all. So she is perfectly healthy. We have tested this. We know it to be true. And... Oh no! Oh no! What the hell happened whilst I wasn't paying attention? That was a steel block you guys took out! Who did this? Did you do this? There's probably a full-on horde up. Don't, don't do it, sir. I spent way too long working on all of this stuff during the, those days I was mining for you guys to mess everything up. I see a lot of bad guys. Oh, hang on. You're making your way around. But I don't see what I would call a horde because by now a horde would have at least a couple of Cthulhu's brother hentai in there, and there would probably be at least one demon. So this looks like a normal amount of bad guys that are out there. How did that happen? I mean, that was like all the way up to steel, so that definitely shouldn't have broken. Hang on. I did not mean to do that. That did not need to be that. Alright. Right, I'll go ahead and get you guys up to stainless because apparently it's needed all right you already are oh by the way i don't think i came over here and showed you guys this after i was done with it 
But here's the... What was that noise? Oh. Hi, Ed. How you doing? You guys should really come in for the tour, but this is the amount of times I've died so far in the ser So far in the series. Uh, four deaths. I need to write on here what each one of them was so that I can keep track of them. I know two of them was inside the bunker, one was on day one, and one was during either the first or second ward. I think it was the second ward. Um, the, the first one I had at Rex is when that one happened. So we are keeping track of... Hi Leon, how you doing? Hey, could you hand me that bag right there? You guys are making a mess over here. Uh, hi, Leon. How you doing? Alright, I appreciate you guys bringing me stuff and things, but, uh... If you're gonna bring me stuff and things, can you do better on the stuff and things? Just bring me really good stuffs? Twid be nice. Oh, well, there's a bear. Are you hell bear or just bear? Stop playing with that. Huh. There we go. I could use your bones, actually. And I'm pretty sure if I shoot you, I'm just gonna wreck you. There we go. Lots of bones. So, uh, north, I know that there's a whole lot of them. Are there any near me that I could go ahead and get before I do those? I was not even looking. I mean, I was, but kind of vacantly. Hmm. Oh, I made the military tablet and I never got it. I just kind of crafted it and left it sitting there. This would have been the perfect opportunity. You know what? We could run back by. Um, I somehow or another managed to leave my shovel in that box as well, so I guess we're doing it this way. Alright. Okay, I've got this one and another one that's actually kind of close to me. Then I'm going to run back to these and grab my shovel and the military tablet that I made so I can show how that works. Last time it didn't work very well for me because it didn't show me the actual treasure under the ground, but folks are insisting that it actually does it this time. Uh, it's like there had to be an extra block or something next to it and then it showed it to me, but not before. But we're going to test it. Okay, lag. Uh, huh. Alrighty, let me out. Okay, let's run back by base and grab that. Uh, tablet. Okay, that is the above the head thing, and then we've got the I'm gonna look through the wall thing. So that's what those two are. Well, let's go actually try these out. Hang on. Like, say we're going into a POI and we want to know what's through the wall. It's good to be able to use those things. I don't know why we would want to use this, except that it, you can see the arrows. But my HUD actually, oh my gosh, at all of the clouds, that's helpful. My HUD is actually telling me there's a lot of bad guys out there and I can't see it on here. So, oh, dang it, that's not what I was wanting to do. Can't really see it, you know? Looks like there's a wandering horde over there. Well, this is awkward. Hey guys, what are we doing over here? I've got a bad feeling about this. Okay, I'll I'll just wait right here while you do you do you. Uh, okay. 
Uh, I was wondering whether or not there was like a... Oh my gosh. Apparently I'm so scary he ran away. Another black sky. Are you serious? You know what? I'm not going to fuss. That means I can upgrade it and use it during the horde. Because, of course, the horde comes in at night. I don't know how much more damage it does at night, but either way, it should be fine. Okie dokie. Uh, treasure map. We've got one here in the middle of the city, which is weird that we're going to go do it. Wait, 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 wait. Is that it over there? <gasps> Meow. There it is. That is outside of the area. Hang on. Let us find out. So outside the area. Absolute proof. Okay. But we got it. That's nice. It's just very, very hard to see. It doesn't uh it doesn't show very far away, and you kind of have to get the right angle in order to see anything at all. I can't tell you though, uh, going into the wasteland and having that item to specifically tell you what kind of creature is on the other side is going to be extremely helpful because I think whenever you're doing the, uh, the hunter's perk, I think the only time it actually shows you is if the zombie is active. I don't think it shows you a sleeper. We're going to have to test that though. Okay, dokie. Well, let's see. Can we see it? Yes, we can. <laughs> right here. There we go. You know the military tablet might help be helpful for um, the dig quest that the traders give us because even though I have amped up my ability to dig way way high I still have to dig around a little bit and every single time I dig because of how the game works, it summons bad guys. So if I know exactly where the treasure is, then all I have to do is dig over the top of it, you know? There it is. You know, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. It's a base game issue. It's fine. Not really. That is so outside the circle. What's the point in even having the circle if it's going to be outside the circle? It's a general area where it was planted. If it's a bug, say it's a bug. A tier 60 cool sniper. That is a very good one for making repairs with because uh, those guys, not cheap. Not at all. Not by a mile. Hi, how are you? How's stuff? How's things? Give me just a second. I'm, I'm doing a thing here. Okie dokie. We have done this one. Uh, let's go north. You, you freaking birds, I swear. <sighs> you are so in the water. Okay, let me park here. What? I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, if they can make it out here to me, more power to them. I probably shouldn't say that because they can swim faster than I can. Which is stupid that you have a game where the play where zombies can swim faster than a human. That doesn't even make sense. The amount of coordination it takes to swim. 
come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There are mines under here? Are you kidding me? I'm hoping I can use the ladders to get to navigate the water faster, but I don't think so. I've tried this before and nearly got myself drowned. Oh, hang on. Oh, air under the ground. Oh my gosh, that's nice. Uh, okay. <laughs> I found oxygen underground. Armor shredder ammo. Uh, let me see. Can I put you guys on here? Heck yeah. Not bad. Green light just got an upgrade. Huh, Leah made it down here. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, now let me see. There we go. Not gonna worry about trying to get all of those frames back. I would just like a few of them back now. Time to go back to the bike. This should only take like 30 more minutes. Oh. Watching my tablet playing a game on my tablet while I'm playing a game in real life. Oh no, the red thing's gonna get the green thing! I need to stop playing with that. Where am I going? <sighs> Finally! I got that one up there. I, I don't... You have been following me this whole time. I'm not even gonna harvest you, you opportunistic bird. Okay, now this one. Please do not be in the water. Oh my gosh, that was kind of worth it, only because the Armor Shredder mod and making mods is so damn expensive because of those pages and the pages are not cheap. So, in that way, it was kind of worth it because it was one of the mods that I was wanting for one of my turrets, but that took a long time. And what I always say about these playthroughs is time is the resource you cannot get back. Dude, I wish to shovel you. Didn't work very well. Here. Is that... Are you... Do, do you have a shotgun in your pocket or are you just happy to see me again? Mm, Alright. Back to treasure hunting. Oh, I saw it a second ago. There it is. It's right there on the line. I feel so high-tech doing it this way. Absolutely not necessary, but so high-tech and it's fun. And that's really the only reason for it. <laughs> uh, tactical rigging, which we don't need, sadly. Um, can't really make much use out of that, but... We'll find something to do with it. Whoa, look at that! Ah, it's so nice to have all of those things off of there. Oh my gosh. It, it just gets really, really cluttered after a while. But the treasure hunts are always good fun. Um, We could... Where did that drop land? I'm doing a thing, if you don't mind. I mean, I guess I could do it off of there, but... No point. Okay. Where the hell did that drop go? Ooh, oh, 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 Zombizan! Apocazan has delivered and they brought me duct tape. It's almost like they actually got my order right this time, you know? Nice. There was a... Well, there's a church right there, but I actually saw the drive-in over here. And there's a... Oh, wow, my gosh. <laughs> I'm so glad that wasn't an outhouse. <laughs> Thank you, boo. Anyway, um, there's usually a couple of vending machines inside of it. Where was it? Hang on. Wait, wait. I, I just drove by it. Good grief, I'm horrible with directions. And we don't have to stick around and clear the whole thing tonight. Just gonna kind of poke my head in, and if we happen to get a little bit of time, maybe do some damage, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, it looks like they're stinking up the bathroom. It's even green over here. Hang on. Jeez, I don't know what happened to my wrist right there. I do apologize. 
There you go, man. I'm a vending machine. Vending? Oh. Machine is useless! That's not what I was wanting, actually. I don't need these. That there. This here. Take those bones. Let's check this police car right quick. Sometimes there's some good stuff in here. Sometimes. Not every time. Just sometimes. This one's not good either. Dang it. My drive-in theater sucks. Might as well be playing uh, The Witcher on here. Not The Witcher. The Wicker Man. The Witcher's good. The Wicker Man sucks anus hole. Knock knock! Have you got a license to be in this bathroom? Ma'am. <laughs> She's got hearts all around her. Oh my gosh, he's with her too. Here, hold him. Who said that? Uh, you're gonna have to go around. Knock knock! Are you certified to use this bathroom? You've been in here over your five minutes. Pretty sure you used more than one square of toilet paper. You have violated your agreement. You laugh, but eventually that's what it'll become. Like you absolutely can only use one square of toilet paper. And while you're at it, you're only allowed to inhale once. Otherwise, you have to get the extended plan for oxygen. Knock knock! My senses have picked up something. Mine have too. They're right here. <laughs> Everybody else in the room just tried to push Ed through the hole butt first. That was kind of rude. You know, come back over here. Come on. Oh boy. You're not actually moving, dude. Unless you're just glitched on my screen, you're not actually doing anything. You're welcome. Bye. He's whistling. I wouldn't go in. Well, I mean, there's resources still left in there, so I guess can go in there and s okay sweep up the last little bit of stuff that's in there if you want it i'm okay with this i have got the things that i wanted is there a way to climb My up here I, I don't see a way i was supposed to have come in here oh hi how are you how stuff how's things oh okay Okay, we're gonna head back home, and I'm gonna write down that I was working on this and come back for it because the beginning loot is not that far away. I'm not gonna stay here at night because typically whenever I get a horde, it's in the evening time, and if a horde shows up there, I'm kind of a little messed up. Especially with the current bad guys, it's gonna be hard to get around all of said bad guys and not get injured. And I'm trying to build up he healing items, not get rid of healing items. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the day. I'm pretty sure we've cleared the map of all of our treasure maps, and we can start, of course, collecting more because they're fun to do. And we have finally got our military tablet, which was, you know, pretty fun to use. Plus, we also proved that a few of those things definitely started outside of the area where they were supposed to start, which is kind of a base game issue. T is a thing that happens, but guys next time we are gonna have to try and hit up a couple of new areas to see if we can get the last book squeezed out because we're getting awful close to that completionist i will see you then you have a wonderful day one for that and you stay shy bye